All right, now welcome back. Uh, Notice the wardrobe change. Uh, it's a couple days later, I've actually got some time to sit down and, and do this. Now, like I said before, um, the amazing thing about this, what this can do, the amazing thing is it can take a camera like this. It doesn't have a flip up screen or a flip around screen. It goes up, it goes down, but you can't swing it around. So as I'm recording myself, I can't see myself. What this allows you to do is take the image, send it from your camera directly to your iPad or such through Wi-Fi. So, and it does it for photography, which the app, the built-in app, there's a SnapBridge app that works with Nikon. For the Nikon D500, it does work. It works for photography. It does not work for videography, which is, hey, it's what I like to do. So, <clears throat> without further ado, let's go ahead and and let me mention this too because we are all in quarantine and um, a lot of people are out there right now that can't stay home I know some people want to go to work and it's it's a really sad situation for it seems like everybody uh, if you want to go to work and you need money you really can't a lot of people that some people were very lucky they're able to work from home there's some people who would love to be able to stay home and stay safe but they're essential workers so they might be out there everybody who works at Amazon uh, we appreciate you um, to show our appreciation, let's try to, as we order things from Amazon, make sure it's essential items so they're not packing uh, unnecessary items. Like when I order something like this, we try and order like water and different things like that so we can just they'll throw it in there with it and nobody's just coming to my house just to deliver specifically, uh, say a, a Frisbee, something that's totally off the wall, doesn't, it's not important. So um, just keep that in mind. And without further ado, let's go ahead and walk through this because I've seen videos that show you how this functionality works with the actual photography. But I know for some reason people just haven't been using the videography and then this is probably the best feature to me because it's something that SnapBridge can't do or won't do for this camera. So what comes with it, again, are these two. You get the one that's the uh, mini USB, and you also get the old school mini USB uh, with that shape into it. What doesn't come with it is the one for this camera, which is what you need for USB two and three nowadays the hard drives. It's one of those new hard drive type USB fittings. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna take this portion and plug it into your USB. One, step one, step two, you're gonna take your HDMI, or excuse me, your USB here and plug this in. It'll be connected. I'm not even gonna turn that on right now because you have to link this to your iPad through Wi-Fi. So once you turn this on, it lights up. You'll see the lights there. And they'll get red. You go to your iPad, look at, and it's gonna come up. Sometimes it takes a little while. And it could be because this is the mini and not the Camera Ranger 2, which is supposed to be way better. I am actually considering now, and this is not a, a, a sponsored video at all. This is a video I made just because I'm so excited about having this, this device available to me. And it's such a good price, 200 bucks. I think I got it for 50, with a $50 coupon. You can't beat that. So for 150 bucks, I get the functionality I need to turn this camera into my video beast. Cam Ranger LSC, I don't know if you can see that here. Maybe I have to zoom in on the camera. But right here, you push that one. I've already put in the password, which is on the bottom here. I'm not showing that right now, but it's on the bottom. Once you're connected, they have their own app. So Cam Ranger has an app, Cam Ranger Mini has an app, you hit connect, got an error. Of course, it happened before, you have to have your camera on so they can actually connect. Hit okay, give it a second, hit connect, and it starts up. 
Like this is so much easier than when I used to try and set up the snap bridge. It used to give me all types of headaches. So this is so much easier. <clears throat> now, you see it shows your, your screen right here. If you hit the eye, it turns on your live view on your camera. So I'll turn this around so you can see this as well. Hit that. And you see what's happening there. Your live view comes over here. Now it's not the most uh, fidelity you're gonna get. It's not gonna give you like the, the refresh rate of what you expect from like a, a real video camera, but it gives you enough to where you can handle your focus. You can change your focus points. I mean, it's really a pretty good, good system. Now I'm gonna do something right here. I'm gonna take a picture of these dead flowers or dying flowers here. Just gonna set it up. hold it in my hand here now you focus on the flowers and right now it's even on autofocus hit capture it takes the picture for you you can control it from here you can not set it so you can still control the camera here but I like to keep it the whole purpose for me is using the iPad so if you want to do video all you do is hit the video camera and it goes into starting movie mode, which in the, if you know Nikon cameras, they have a movie mode in the back, which is separate from your actual photography mode in the back. So now I'm in movie mode, and in order to start recording, all you have to do is hit record. You move the camera around, and it's moving around with you. So you're probably gonna see a little bit of my house around here as I turn this around. And for those of you who've been paying attention, yes, my mic did just pop up and appear right there. <clears throat> but this is why I like this, because it allows me to not have the camera right in front of me. The camera can be over there. There is a device that can actually move your camera around. It sits on top of the tripod, left and right, up and down. I think there's one for the Mini as well. Uh, the one I'm thinking about is the more expensive one, and that's for the Camera Ranger 2. It does more, but there's one for the Mini too, but it's, it has less movement. I'm probably gonna, I'm thinking now I'm really considering buying that Camera Ranger 2 and just doing a video on that too and kind of keeping that one because this is really pretty cool. But yeah, so it's recording now. Uh, the video is, is clear. I can change my focus points if I need to. Um, right now it's on automatic focus. Uh, you can set it's manual focus so you it won't change if you don't want it to. So it, there's all these different settings you can do. Um, if you look on here, your frame rate, you can change that. You can change your f-stop in this section. And you, it's basically a touch. It's no scrolling left and right, up and down. It's just you, you find it where it is and you just touch it and it goes straight to F22. Straight to F22, man, black, yes, yeah, too much, of course. Or you come all the way down and say, okay, let's go all the way to 4.5, which is the, the max of this lens. And there you have it. Um, also, you can change your autofocus, like I said. You can change your ISO. Yeah, change your white balance. There's so many things you can do with this app. It just opens up everything to me. So this device, this little device, has given me so much more freedom, so much more ability to actually record videos that, man, how could you not? Like, how could you not? Now, I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pick one up. I'm sure there's still some out there. I don't know if we're going to keep making these or we're going to stick with the, the Camera Ranger 2 now. I'm not sure. And again, this is not a sponsored video, so I'm not getting paid any money from Camera Ranger people. But this is just a really good product. And I've looked at other things to try and find something that does this. And this is the first one I've seen. And if people are, are like me out there and you're looking for something to shoot video with, that gives you the ability to see yourself on either an iPad or maybe your, your phone, your cell phone. It's affordable, it's easy to use, and it's effective. And that's one of the, the three most important things for me for any equipment that I use. Uh, it's gotta be affordable, because right now I'm not rolling in the dough. It's gotta be effective, because I need it to do certain things, and I'm very intolerant when things don't do what it's supposed to do. And it's gotta be, easy to use. I'm not, I don't have time to sit and study and, and figure out a million things out because I'm usually trying to do something, you know, important. So if you do, like I said, if you do decide to pick one up, please use my link in the, in the bottom below. Again, it's not a sponsored video at all. So that every little bit does help. Um, other than that, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. 
Um, again, please like and subscribe. If for any reason you want to you know, see videos and other things, just let me know down in the comments. I'll keep an eye out there and see if there's some things that we can check out for you and give you some ideas. Um, yeah, this is, I'm back and I'm ready to get busy. Let's, let's do this. Rodney Cameron, here to help you out. I don't know that song right. <laughs> Rodney Cameron. Rodney Cameron, Media and Technology. Rodney Cameron, Media and Technology. Rodney Cameron Media and Technology, we try it out so you don't have to. Rodney Cameron Media, Rodney Cameron Media and Technology, we try the sucky stuff so you don't have to deal with it. <laughs> Rodney Cameron Media and Technology, we try it all out because it's fun. <laughs>